What is up guys? Razor here. Welcome back to Die Hack Part 1 Infection for the PS2. In the previous episode we got Natsume as a playable character. And in this episode we're going to do the second uh, Golden Goblin battle. Before I do that though I want to Uh, look at the Book of Ryu's again. Okay, over 10 areas visited. BGM 4. Over 5 hours total play time. Movie 4. And we'll go to Book of Ryu 2 here. Over 150 magic portals opened. Image 4. Over 200 magic portals opened. EGM 5. Over 5 fields cleared of Mal magic portals. Movie 5. Okay. Book of Ryu 3. Uh, over 20 names registered. Image 5. Now we reached the limit for uh, uh, for the real book in volume one. These are the names that I have right now. I'll scroll through the list slowly here. I basically just been going around talking to everybody. And then Book of Ryu 4. Book of Ryu 5. Number 6. Over 150 treasure boxes opened. BGM 6. Over 5 got statue treasures opened. Movie 6. Over 30 symbols activated, and that's the limit for Volume 1. Image 6. So I guess 30 is the limit in Volume 1. Oh, I got the limit for total number of granny food as well. Okay, so we're doing pretty well so far. I hit the limit on a couple things. And that's what I want for all the books. I want to get read on every single thing. Like all this, this white, I want it to be red for every single book. Uh, that's how you 100%. You gotta, that's how you 100% the review books. All right, let's go to the Testable Golden Messenger here. Uh, level 6, fire. And we gotta find another Golden Goblin. And this is the second Golden Goblin that we are fighting. This is gonna be slightly harder than the previous one. And he's one of the Gob Kings. He's not an apprentice like the last one. Alright, so first things first, Speed Charm. Followed by... Warrior's Blood. And Hunter Blood. There we go, got it. Wasn't exactly a fluke. 
I can't believe I lost. I can down a beach in 20 seconds. How about you? And we get the goblin mail. I uh, don't sell that goblin mail just like the goblin cap. Don't get rid of it because it's one of a kind. Yeah, fairly easy boss. It's actually easier than the first guy. Easier than the first goblin. Okay, before I leave this area though, I want to find some grunty food. See if I can find some more. There should be more. There's some more down here. Can I find some more of them? That is the question. Yep, here's some more. How many do I have now? 22? Pretty good amount. All right, there may be more of them around here, but I think I'm done for now. I'm going to go ahead and gate out here. And now we'll go to a storyline dungeon. After I make sure I have enough of each item. I also want to make sure there's no more forum posts either. I always want to keep an eye out on that to make sure there's no new posts. Okay, to go to this storyline dungeon we need uh, Mia and Elk. Okay. And we need to go to Closed Oblivious Twin Hills. And this is a level 10 dungeon, so it's going to be. Yeah, I won't say it ain't going to be difficult. It's not going to be bad at all. That'll be easy. Okay, first things first Fairy's Orb. And speed charm. And I'm going to be clearing out every single magic portal on the field. Before I go down into the dungeon. I'm also going to be looking for grunny food as well.
Okay, virus score C. Nice. Oh, drop the chest. Okay, Cougar Bandana. Hunter's Hood. The new, new enemy here, Mimic. Dad drain it, but I think it's a very annoying because I can inflict confusion. Mummy Ripper's new too. Strange Blade. Okay, Mandragora around here. Mandragora. I have a ton of those. I think I have over 30 of those. Let's see. I got 27, almost 30. I'll have 30 by the time I get out of here. Go by the spring. The spring. Throw in a strange blade. Did you lose a golden axe? Or a silver? Till next. Let me get a silver axe. Alright, so I'll show more magic portal and then I'll cut the video and we'll head on into the dungeon. Mountain Helm. That should be an upgrade. Hunter's Hood is though. Very nice. Okay, one more magic portal. Grand armor. Alright, so I'm going to clear out all these magic portals, and then we'll head on, head on into the dungeon. So I'll be right back. Alright, I finished all the magic portals on the field. Let's go ahead and head down into the dungeon. And first things first, Fairy's Orb. Okay, a pretty straightforward path from this first floor.
And those mimics are very annoying because they'll use you. Okay, Fortress Wire. Hiking Gear. And Mountain Helm. I wonder if she can use the Mountain Helm. How strong is that? Three and eight. And she has so it's better. I guess I'll gift it, gift it to her. There's never. Thanks. And she equipped it. Yeah, so it was an upgrade for. Her. Yeah, you can also change your character's equipment too at any time. I also have an upgraded sword for her as well. There's never a dull moment. Thanks. There we go. Uh, Let's so see, do I have any upgrades for him? We had the cougar bandana, but he's not high enough level to equip it yet. Hiking gear might be pretty good for him. Alright, I'm not worried about it right now. I'll let him get one more level up and then I'll give him some stuff. I do have to gift stuff to my characters though in order to... For the Book of Ryu. That's why confusion is such a d deadly out so, so deadly because start attacking your own allies and you take them out in one hit.
Okay, let me go on to the other side over here. We gotta get out of this dungeon right here because this dungeon's annoying. Not a big fan of these uh, mimics. new enemy here, scorpion tank. You'll fight these things in GU as well. They're less annoying than the mimics, I'll tell you that. I'll fight them any day of the week than over the mimics. And the boss battles up ahead. If you approach a magic portal, data bugs will show up. If you data drain those bugs, you can get virus cores from them. There has to be a reason why you have that break. You will go there to find out the reason. Right. The reason why I have this bracelet? And it's boss time against looks like atonement. Let me use a healing potion here. There we go. Flame dance. Oops, I didn't mean to hit my mic there. Alright, data drain time. Virus Court in. And boss battle, Stone Turtle. Or Stone... Stone Turtle. Or toodle. There we go. Took it out. Almost died there at the beginning, but a fairly easy this boss. Bracelet actually belongs to my friend. Razor told Mia everything that happened. I don't care what happened to you in the past, but I am interested in what you are going to do with the bracelet in the future. Well, that's about it. If there's anything I can do to help you, I'll try my best. Thanks. There's no need to thank me. I'm just doing what I want to do. Hey, Mia. Hmm. 
and they leave. And you all may get warped out as well. So no got statue. Now technically you could go back into them dungeons and get the... You could go back in there and get the items, of course. If you so desire, but... I don't know if that's worth it or not. Anyway, I'm putting some stuff in the storage here. Okay, I have all this stuff in storage now. So I can sell all this stuff. Starting to get a lot of money here, 40,000 now. Should probably get some magic defense. buds as well all right that'll be it for this episode in the next episode we'll probably advance the storyline some more so thank you guys for watching Stay tuned for the next episode, and later.